and we are really exciting. Today is the first day of the restoration and renovation project of the cabin. Uh, so the first part of this, which is taking place behind me, is the actual demolition. So they basically start from the top and work their way down. Along the way, they're tagging all the different pieces as, as they go, uh, so that when we get ready to wash and reassemble, they know exactly what order they go back in. The end goal, really, there are two. Uh, one is preservation of the cabin, right? This, there's a lot of passion around this cabin, a lot of the history that it tells, which is very important to our story here in Independence. So it's great to be able to preserve that. And the second is to actually have the cabin visited and interpreted in the way that it really should be. The good thing about the particular contractor that we have on site, he's teaching us about preservation techniques so that with proper preventative maintenance, we'll be able to maintain this cabin for 50, 60, 70 more years uh, just by some very basic maintenance type of, of, uh, of activity. I do everything I can to put it back to the original way that they built it. Back in the 70s when they were doing this, they were trying to put it back the way they saw it when they took it down. But that's not how, the people built these as a home to live in. And they took pride in it. So I try to put the pride back into it. This one here, it's got all four walls and it has this roof on it so we get to start at the top and work our way down on it. And we'll peel all this roof off of it and we'll get all the siding off the front and the back of it and then we'll save the gables, uh, the uh, rafters, and we'll label those so they'll go back up the exact same way we take them down and then we'll, we've got all the logs marked and labeled and then we'll take those down and we will replace the rotten ones and keep the good ones and we'll take them over and we will power wash them scrape them, clean them up, get all the rot off of them before we ever put them back up. So then when we do it, it'd be like having a new log uh, stacking. Well, well, what I really like them to know is that we've preserved our history, uh, which having tourism under the Parks, Recreation and Tourism umbrella is extremely important. We've made viable once again and breathed some new life into a cabin that was a little bit in peril and that it's most importantly being visited and interpreted and used as an educational piece to show folks a little bit about what this town was like when it first started.